We know that China wants their flag flying on every island throughout Southeast Asia. But does Beijing actually believe that their recent activity in the South Pacific might achieve this? China often rejects Western advice, claiming that prosperous countries aren't qualified to teach about achieving prosperity. Somehow that makes sense to the Chinese. It's hard to be angry at people who just don't know better. Perhaps, being communist, they believe in a zero-sum game. That prosperity is not earned through wisdom, but bestowed by gods and dragons. Economic theory affects more than legal policy. It shapes our worldview, which explains a lot. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. Many assume that state-controlled media audiences are smaller because governments only use media to lie. While true, this is irrelevant. Lying is normal in media and government. Follow the money. Lies don't bore audiences. Lack of entertainment does. How much time have you spent watching C-SPAN? Taiwan's legislature is known for their on-floor fistfights. Coincidentally, many Taiwanese are interested in politics. Consider CNN's Anderson Cooper or Fox News' lineup of poster boys and girls, minus Bill O'Reilly, oh really, or take HBO's more realistic coverage about the Veep. Truth is, often, more entertaining than fiction. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. Taiwan and the U.S. are distracted with two-party politics that hurt the people. By contrast, Hong Kong dramatically improved since China's peaceful acquisition 17 years ago. In 1997, we Americans forgot who we were. We feared China forgot the wisdom of William Wallace, and dismissed the Declaration of Independence. China wasn't Hong Kong's problem. England was. After leaving Britain, economies tend to grow exponentially. But, like dogs returning to vomit, crony capitalist politics invite invasion from Beijing. Pride drives it. Bipartisan distraction allows it. We don't want China to invade. So, maybe it's time for third-party politics. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com Bible, business, culture, politics. What is the People's Party? It's one big pizza party in politics. Mexican on your half. Hawaiian on my half. We can order supreme... But anyone can pick off what he doesn't like. I am pro-life, but I agree 80% with those who vote pro-choice. I'm willing to allow abortion in their states and counties so long as I can outlaw it in my state and county. All of us can win where we agree. We agree on the crust, the sauce, the cheese, and most of the rest. Let's not split the country if we can split the pizza. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. America is engaged in two silent civil wars. The people versus the political establishment and the people versus the religious establishment. In both conflicts, the establishment is the minority. IHOP KC experienced a tragedy 18 months ago with a Pied Piper leader in their ranks whose story ended with immorality and a murder case. While Mike Bickle and Alan Hood pick up the pieces, we can only pray that they see. That rogue leader only had power because of establishment Christianity. Democrat, Republicrat politics as usual are no different. Establishments invite corruption. Organic friendships 
and unorganized ordinary people doing daily deeds. These reflect God's kingdom. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics Not many decades ago, Democrats tried to force silly ideas on the silent majority in America. Irritated, the majority voted just enough to put Republicans in power. Now, Republicans are doing the same thing Democrats did, going against the obvious will of the majority, only this time, that majority isn't so silent. Six years ago, the adult kids, fed up with unexplained rules, voted opposite their parents. Now, elections are teaching young and old about consequences. Back and forth politics have made the nation so dizzy that a third party is not only possible, it's about to become unavoidable. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics Fighting the NSA gives the NSA reason to hold on to phone records even longer. China's desire to dominate the peaceful Pacific may leave China with neither peace nor dominance. The Ukraine holds a revolution that angers Russia while Russia holds the Winter Olympics. Cuba shuts down visa services since no bank wants the headache of transferring money to a country blacklisted as a terrorist haven. 65% of Taiwanese disfavor unification with China while the controlling political party seeks the same thing the people don't want. At what point does someone state the obvious? We have front row seats during the prelude to war. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics Ted Nugent admits to chasing young girls 40 years ago. If he were a Democrat, he'd wear it as a badge of honor. But as a Republican, it means Christians will cannibalize him. Throw the first stone, Jesus said, he who is without sin. Christians, from the faith of forgiveness, from the religion of mercy, each knowing that he himself has been forgiven, pounce without waiting, not when they are reminded that every man is a sinner, but when they see the evidence after the devil digs up the dirt. Politically speaking, cannibalism hasn't worked for the failing religious republicrats. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics The Bible has been under attack as long as it existed. The problem with Bible critics is that they don't know when they've lost. In each generation, they sing a different tune with the same old song. Many questions about Bible manuscript credibility, science and Bible, or the credibility of faith are answered by Lee Strobel, Josh McDowell, or the Evolution Handbook. Many alleged Bible contradictions, quote-unquote, impose a modern Western assumption of writing genre, quotes, documentation, and figures of speech, which are answered by a basic understanding of ancient literature. More importantly, Bible critics don't read the Bible all that much. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics Whether Obamacare or Hillary Care, nationalizing health insurance rather than removing frivolous lawsuits that made health care unaffordable could only bankrupt both families and governments. Builders won the war, then barked at their kids without instructing them. Boomers barked at their parents and taught their own children to rebel. The Obamers generation 
mainly entered politics because Obama ran, often voting against Obama, but they shot from the hip without first understanding unintended consequences. Under budget, spread too thin, America will inevitably be invaded. The question is, will we surrender to God first or China-Russia later? And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. The Sunflower Student Movement recently retook Taiwan's Legislative Chamber, and briefly the Executive Yen. China's Communist Party never defeated the Nationalists, but Taiwan's own students interrupted KMT Nationalist control for the first time in history. More truth has been spoken from the student-controlled Taiwan legislature's floor in the last 200 hours than in Taiwan's 70-year history and arguably in the 235-plus years of U.S. Congress. Unlike the Occupy movement in America, Taiwanese are clean, they don't loot or leave graffiti, and they talk about liberty and democracy like an American Tea Party. Taiwanese students raise the bar of freedom for everyone. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. Everyone can't be an astronaut or an NBA player, but without practice, no one would know how to get to Carnegie Hall. Professional parents often give foot-on-the-ground advice. Pay the bills first, then pursue your dreams. Writing books, composing songs, designing winter websites, and decorating canvases require a recipe of time and inspiration. Working a nine-to-five steals time. Hardship is the seed of inspiration, which daily exhaustion kills. Having the bills paid isn't hardship. If owning a yacht is your goal, consider medical school. But if you want to be a master, paying the bills might eat all your main ingredients. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. When the disgruntled public gathers to express their disapproval of their government, politicians hide in velvet offices, while the protesters face off with the police who could often care less about the issues. The textbook passive-aggressive response is for the cowering politicians to pretend that the public objects to the police instead of the policymakers by saying, We love the police. Why don't you? While ancient spin tactics undermine the intent of the public, thus breeding conflict, nothing is more insulting to the police than fake I love yous from the politicians who rouse the public dissent in the first place. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. The people of Taiwan didn't want a one-way trade street from China to destroy their economy. The people of America didn't want SOPA to destroy the Internet's freedom, but rejected proposed laws tend to persist, under new names and with growing secrecy. History repeats, especially among those who don't learn. Coups are among that repetition. And people don't want to reject laws more than once. There is a line of tolerance which, if crossed, a military police coup is foreseeable by sneaking unwanted law into trade agreements, such as CSTA and TPP, governments may have crossed that line. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Law and order begin with governments that respect their own laws. Every leader must follow some rules, when the government follows their rules, the people are more likely to follow other rules. 
when the government overreaches, law and order lose their societal basis. America may be reaching a time when political corruption causes chaos throughout the country. While experts debate legitimacy versus need concerning which powers the government has and which powers remain in the hands of the people, a greater sense of self-preservation may deserve a greater priority. It's not mere statutory law at stake, but law versus chaos. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com. Bible, business, culture, politics. Bible critics say the Bible is useful. Do Christians agree? Christians mainly seem to read the Bible in preparation for debates, not to personally benefit from reading it. I think Bible critics just want to say something nice to sound objective and thus be more persuasive. However, unintentionally, the critics may be right. The Bible is very useful. In fact, the Bible's usefulness could be the strongest testimony for its infallibility. But the Bible can only be as useful as we make it. Don't debate the Bible with Christians or critics. Just read it and see what your life proves. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, business, culture, politics. Some say that God is judging America for immorality and abortion. Whether you agree, a larger Christian ethics problem predated any lapse in America's moral decline. Unforgiveness. Jesus taught us to forgive, lest we not be forgiven. But America has not forgiven the sins of our best political candidates. As a result, Christians surrendered elections to candidates who are no less sinful, but are better at hiding their sin from the public eye. Had we not cannibalized our best candidates, they might have been able to prevent moral decline. By not forgiving ourselves, we condemned ourselves. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, business, culture, politics. As society develops, it tends to centralize the planning of good things. In the church, as in government, centralized goodness seems to be an improvement at first. But, with time, symptoms of tyranny and corruption emerge. Then, American Christians don't blame the centrality of goodness, only the fading of the shroud. Too much goodness in the hands of too few invites corruption. To end corruption, end centrally planned goodness in clerical churchianity and government. Informal Christian fellowship trumps weekly monologues. States maintain sovereignty that federations never receive. But there's a problem. Americans like centrality before its true colors show. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. If security costs are too high, then we shouldn't consider the cost alone, but whether the risk is even worth it. A friend asks why I won't fly on airlines in America. I'm waiting for the threat to go away, I replied. If the threat is so high that we need random pat-downs and a billion dollars in x-ray machines, with no comparable threats found, then the danger in the shadows is too much. I'll fly American when the ever-evasive terror threat can be stopped by police dogs who smell fear, narcotics, and explosives. Until then, China is safer. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics An American Renaissance has spurred remembrance of our roots. What did the Founding Fathers teach us? What were the original strategies that made our nation so great? One of the keys to anything successful is to stay on course. Whether in business, nonprofit, charity, government, or family, remember where you came from. 
don't change who you are. Once married, spouses have a tendency to try to change each other, but the happy marriages are based in mutual acceptance. We all learn, but love doesn't demand others to change. In family and government alike, once a father changes, it's all downhill from there. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics. Americans agree on many things. Republicans and Democrats get elected too much. Liberals don't get elected enough. Corporate rights eat human rights. Eco-weenies are institutionalizing pantheism. The real climate change is cold rain caused by a 500-year solar cycle, but it's being labeled warming caused by people. Big oil, big entertainment, big government, and big finance hoard every solution but one. We the people can win if we agree on one last thing. The Sunday morning Jesus is fake. Jesus didn't attend seminary. No one paid him. But he will overcome America's problems if we ask him. The real him. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com. Bible, business, culture, politics. Now that you believe Jesus, you've got to attend weekly, the evangelist says, though Jesus never mandated Sunday morning. Funny, I thought it made sense, until they said something similar at Amway meetings. Amway's own rules state that training is the personal responsibility of mentors, and that other teaching systems are not required. A recent class action suit attempted to enforce Amway's rules since they seem to be having trouble doing it themselves. Ever feel like you're spinning your wheels, even with all the quote-unquote necessary meetings? Ever feel like you're dragging the same anchor? Maybe it is the same anchor. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, business, culture, politics, in changing times, it's easy to become afraid. Our natural tendency is toward self-defense and hiding. Sometimes the best defense is offense. Sometimes. That's the thinking of the masses during times of change. Fools are often their own worst enemies. Evil men are indeed foolish or they wouldn't be evil, and evil is what people fear during times of change. From the viewpoint of understanding... Change isn't something to fear. When the tide comes in, rise. Don't fight. Don't resist. Don't quit. Don't fear. Sometimes, an even better defense strategy is to just do nothing at all. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com Bible, business, culture, politics. Common enemies create temporary unity. The American public retains the power in America regardless of how rich and powerful Washington and its cronies are. That powerful public, though divided by the near-identical bipolar DNA that news infotainment and churchianity hold in common, is being stirred to action. People are pooling money. Tea Party rallies attract Democrats. Pundits comment on third-party options. Even if they dismiss the options, they comment nonetheless. But our infighting hasn't stopped. America's third party won't be consummated by rallies or funding, but by a grandpa who understands the family and knows the murky river's fordable crossing. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. jessesteele.com Bible, business, culture, politics. If heaven were a cuisine... It would be anything but junk food. It's spicy. The lemonade is strong. The romaine lettuce is so bitter you can barely swallow it. And that's what it means to be healthy. 
Praise God that God doesn't give us sugar and chocolate every time we ask for it. The little pockets of sobriety and sanity have kept the darkness at bay for centuries. Islam can't attack America while Israel stands. Island nations prevent war in Southeast Asia, and truth-telling friends sure are inconvenient, though a lot less inconvenient than the alternatives. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Patience. It can seem a waste of time, irresponsible, lazy, incompetent, out of touch, uncaring. We want to solve our problems at their roots, nip them in the buds, and be preemptive to be preventative. Diligence is proactive. Is it different from patience? Not everything requires us to make the first move. Dodging and blocking punches can lead to a quicker victory by exhausting the opponent. Without patience, all bread would be flat. Frosting would melt off the cake. We'd never have butter, ice cream, or even cream for that matter. With more patience, we might have a little less war. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com Bible, Business, Culture, Politics The strength of opposition reveals the strength of character. When your leaders are angry with you, it's because you're not living up to the standard they have for you. Many angry leaders don't realize the angrier they are, the more they believe in the people they are angry with. Oftentimes, we don't respect ourselves as much as our critics do. We don't think we are as capable as they do. We throw the tomatoes back instead of being thankful for the compliment. Being macho is about pretending. Real big boys don't cry because they don't find a reason to. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Every school class has the same basic roles. The class clown, the handsome athlete, the rich kid, the nerd, the awkward musician, the fat, smelly kid, etc. Every student has problems and redeeming qualities alike. Every student. I was the awkward musician. And I always liked fat, smelly kids. Because the secret about the fat, smelly kids is they really are cool. But most people don't see it until everybody grows up. Politically, France is the class clown. America, the athletic jerk. And China, the fat smelly kid. Everyone has honest potential. And we all need to grow up. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele. Pacific Daily Times. Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Orange can't be purple. This may seem unfair, but any other way would be unfair to everyone because sunsets would not be beautiful. We look at many activities and ask about our rights or why God is or isn't angry. When, in fact, it's not our actions that matter as much as the results of our actions. Actions may seem benign in themselves or harmful. Often, however, the opposite proves true with the results. And it is the results that determine whether actions are good or bad. Being honest with ourselves about our actions is part of growing up. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Bible, business, culture, politics. Americans know that American politics are upside down. And Americans know that American business is upside down. And Americans rarely see the ironic reversal of both business and politics being upside down. Business schools teach managers to kowtow to every consumer demand, while Republicrats give lectures 
on why the people are wrong. Shouldn't a business define itself while the people lecture the politicians on what to do in office? The problem isn't with politicians nor business managers, but with the public. It's time to wake up. Only the people make sure that the right people do the right things. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. So many problems come because the wrong people dominate. When the right people don't step up, the wrong people gain power by default, and they're not the most skilled. Should the next generation step up, the right people must first wrest power from old, defaulted leadership. That's not easy, especially since default leaders disrespect everyone because they didn't earn their own positions of leadership. They simply filled a void created by potentially good leaders who didn't step up. If we want respect, we must respect ourselves first. The tougher lesson is that self-respect begins with tending to one's own business. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. The biggest complaint I hear against organized churchianity is the injustice Christians give each other every day. Christians allow scandal after scandal of dominating each other, neglecting needs, disunity, just to name a few. Inviting non-Christians to join the scandals we harbor will only make future evangelism more difficult, and rightly so. It's as if Christians think non-Christians are blind to injustice, as if Christians have the corner on every good idea, and they're actually surprised at non-Christian brilliance. Evangelism would be much faster and easier if Christians plucked the log. But first, they'd have to give non-Christians some overdue credit. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Making rounds, calling to check up on the family business, paying bills, and putting food on the table, these don't involve much emotion or personal empathy, yet are the reason God is called God the Provider. In the end, rebellious angels will be despised for their inability to fulfill practical needs for more than a short time. It's the reason evil needs to harness good men rather than conquer them. And it's the reason evil empires of money and military always fail, eventually. For angels, prayer is a practical need. One example of how America overlooks many practical daily needs. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Nothing beats good old-fashioned hard work. And nothing reminds us of this more than watching a sloth eat. It even looks exhausted having to chew its own food. Hard work doesn't excuse the need for hard thinking. Wicked men are too lazy to work, while hard-working leaders often give unintentional justice from lack of attention to detail. Laziness comes in many forms, and all of it can lead to one's failure, even failure to rise in the first place. Diligence is a good teacher. Does hard work support practical needs, or is hard work a practical need in itself? That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. Pacific Daily Times, Bible, Business, Culture, Politics. Patience isn't always recognized. Many mistake patience for slothfulness or wasting time. Time is money, 
but that doesn't mean we should always spend it. Good things come to those who wait. When we live in haste, we tend to forget the value of patience. Sometimes patience requires action to create the opportunity to wait for something good. This is called perseverance. Making peace, for example, requires perseverance before results are anywhere in sight. While good things come to those who are patient, the best things come to those who persevere. As Jesus said, peacemakers shall be called sons of God. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Gladwell's David and Goliath discusses failure stories from top colleges in America. Some students who attend top schools can be worse off than if they had attended a school that was easier and less expensive. But it would be wrong to conclude that the easier school is always the best. Attending the best school possible may be a student's attempt to see what his school can do for him rather than what he can do for his school. There are two types of people, lifters and leaners. We may be more likely to soar in environments where we can lift. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. I remember when H1N1 was going to kill everybody. But now, Ebola is no problem. I remember when the TSA spent one billion bucks to make sure airports didn't let the wrong people fly. But Ebola is no problem. I remember when the Constitution, adoption, and talk radio indicated that one was a terrorist. Islam was no problem. Now Ebola isn't either. I remember learning that Christians used to heal diseases. But now, attending Sunday morning with Ebola would be a problem. This seems strange. But it's not from Democrats, Republicans, atheism, or churchianity. It's from chaos brought by political correctness. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The best smiles have teeth. An itch needs scratched. Likewise, a good business shouldn't be too well polished. The marketing addict anonymous asks, how much should we polish then? But that's the wrong question. Good business shouldn't be overly polished because it should be focusing on quality at the core. YouTubers and radio hosts get large audiences, especially when they're difficult to understand. They explain ideas worth learning about. Their audiences learn more and know it. Polish-obsessed big business tries to compete with these rising, talented new leaders with pretty diagrams that simplify similar ideas. They just don't get it. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. The weekly mantra, stay in fellowship common within churchianity, surmounts to little more than control of money. Money changers just want loyal subscribers called parishioners. The Shepherd of Hermes called church profiteers Christmongers. If weekly Sunday attendance did fulfill the biblical mandate for coming together, then why has it failed at the other biblical requirements of loving one another and Christian unity? True fellowship involves communication with the wider Christian community and doesn't limit fellowship to 200 people. The less we know each other, the more we'll fight like we do. Churchianity doesn't want Christians in fellowship, but 
in factions. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Quality control explains the problems of manufacturing about as accurately as a two-year-old discussing mom's dinner menu. The term quality control sounds good to bureaucrats and bean counters, but it insults the skill and craftsmanship of good manufacturing and undermines the people who make a factory's good stuff. Quality craftsmanship is a much better term. A better factory is filled with better craftsmen. Good craftsmen constantly improve. Dr. Deming taught something similar. We should expect control to be the myth of managers who don't create anything. Control is the opposite of mentoring. To become skilled, one needs mentoring. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Poser leaders lack the innovative creativity of founders whose footsteps they follow. It happens about every 50 years. A leader answers the problems of the times. Then a poser's successor follows in his footsteps, singing the same song long after the problems are solved. Fifty years later, new leaders raise up to expel the posers. And so history repeats with tech companies, civil rights, China, the church, Democrats, Republicrats, and even in the 2014 elections. This is not a historical anomaly, but a perfect tempo. Hunger for greatness blinds posers to the demons they empower. Demons who don't know that their tempo exposes itself. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Thistles and thorns have their purposes, but not on a farm. Farms are for cucumbers, pumpkins, wheat, and barley. The farmers of America's political and religious systems seem like they haven't figured this out. It's not that Americans wanted thistle fields. They've just planted thistles expecting watermelon. Sooner or later, Americans will learn whatever comes up from the ground at harvest grows from whatever went into the ground that spring. The lesson of sowing and reaping is more important than just reaping what our fathers sowed. The more weeds that we planted that sprout, the better. So don't be worried. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Those who are bent on making everyone hate them in their older years get really good at making everyone hate them in their older years. And the same is true of wisdom, knowledge, and youth with old souls who are both wise and happy in both twilights, young and seasoned. Unfortunately, the same can't be said of institutions, which get worse and worse at everything with time. Old corporations lose their first customers. Governments write policies so bad they make failure a failure. Why do Christians think that their house meetings aren't mature until they incorporo institutiono destructionate? Lesson. Control exhausts the controller. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. As an American, 
living on the opposite side of the world for almost six years. I have found one problem with laws of almost every country. They don't pause to understand foreigners, good or bad. Caesar, child of an illegal Mexican immigrant, taught us to understand dogs so we can master them. To have rule of law, the law must understand people, citizens, foreigners, small businesses. But American churchianity? Try to understand someone outside their Sunday morning groupies? Fat chance! Immigration is out of control because we neglected to understand. Bible policy. Don't oppress foreigners. Don't follow pagans, lest ye be judged. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Right or wrong, justified or not, trained police shouldn't kill people. Soldiers do that. Police serve and protect. Lately, it seems that younger police are more interested in catching the bad guys. Only a few bad apples ruin the barrel. Most police are good. For now. But if we continue to praise the good police and ignore the bad apples, we could be looking at nationwide lawlessness as good cops say, forget this incompetent government, I'm protecting my family. If an officer is justified in killing someone, he should be honored to end his own career. He serves, after all. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Excessive force among police is too high because the stakes have been too low. Tolerating excessive force is a slap in the face to good police. To have lasting peace, the nation must choose only one first priority. Defend good police, avenge victims of excess force, or crack down on excessive force. If number three is not our first priority, then the nation will be divided between numbers one and two, which means lawlessness and danger everywhere. Excessive force isn't just a police problem. It comes from a natural culture commitment to escalate every conflict as fast as possible. Americans de-escalate? We need revival. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. When we live in denial, we confuse our own rejection of the truth with our own uniqueness and creativity. The truth is every bit as unique as we are. Truth defines us. We can't redefine truth any more than someone else can redefine us. Individual creativity seeks to learn which things we can and cannot define from having the courage to express the ideas we can. Foolishness is the rejection of truth's uniqueness. When our own foolishness fails, we always think the universe is trying to manipulate us when maybe the universe and its author are trying to teach us something. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Whoever makes you can break you. That's how guilds work. This includes professional career guilds, which are all about references, political guilds, which demand party loyalty over loyalty to voters, popularity guilds, which value social acceptance over ethics, and the guild of parachurch organizations, 
which primarily measure membership through weekly attendance and, secondarily, through evidence of growth in Christ. Joining a guild is fast, easy success. When someone is responsible for bestowing your success, you can fall from their grace for reasons unrelated to your work, skill, or values. Those who make history, however, are less referable and more quotable. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other. Conservative Christians criticize the president's glaring hypocrisy. Centrally facilitated health care from an unhealthy government was always doomed. The people can demand that institutions and companies be financially responsible, but a bankrupt government can't. The religious right has done a wonderful job of pointing out the obvious, selectively. But they have their own hypocrisy. Republicans vote against central planning every November, then fund it every Sunday. American church has more central planned friendship with more bureaucracy than any left-wing politician's wildest dream. Jesus not only allows us to access the Father directly, but also each other. Cleaning up hypocrisy starts at home. And that is the point. I'm Jesse Steele, Pacific Daily Times. Know each other.